You know, one thing I've always noticed about you since I started following you is your uh, your commitment to being consistent and disciplined in what you're doing. And that's where I want to start things off because I think it's very easy for guys to be good for a week or a month or potentially maybe even a year. But I've always been impressed with your level of consistency. Where does that come from, man? At the end of the day, it's all about consistency. It's consistently following the plan. And if you look at this year, if you look at 2020 is how can I be the most consistent to the plan that I've put in place than I've ever been? And if that plan is clear and it's based on what is your end goal for the year, and it's based on what are those actual activities that are going to take me there, then being consistent in that plan is the only way that you're going to succeed. That was the next point. Trust is built with consistency. Um, I think about like in a relationship yeah. um, in, in every in every aspect of your life yeah, your marriage. Uh, and all the things that you are consistent or inconsistent in, um, that's where trust is either built yep. or torn down or torn down. Uh, a lot of times your charisma can take you where your character won't keep you. And it's that character like the character is the um, the dedication, the discipline. And so you'll have salespeople that'll that'll, you know, start in a sales career and they're very charismatic they can talk you know they can talk the talk and they'll they'll close some deals but their character won't keep them there like they'll they'll go close a couple deals this week but then you'll ask them did you make your 300 phone calls this week i closed the six deals like you like my goal was to close five deals i closed six deals like i didn't have to make the 300 phone calls like so you didn't make the 300 phone calls it's the only way you're going to hit that goal. You know, for us with our business, someone that is consistent, someone that's generating X number of policies for, for us in the insurance world, that's doing X number of policies. Let's say someone that's doing 50 policies a month, every single month is far more valuable than the person that does 150 policies in a month and disappears for a month then does 75 and then disappears for a month, then does 200 and disappears for two months. The key is the consistency. How consistent can you be throughout the year? And what I have found in my own life is that when I have been the most busy with the most structure, and that's key, when I've been the most busy with the most structure is when I have gotten even more things done than I thought was possible. Um, I don't know what it is about being busy when it's actual income producing activities and it's structured activities that you know are taking you where you want to go that all of a sudden you find time to do all of these other things. And it's like, oh yeah, it's great. You close a bunch of deals, but if you're not keeping your pipeline full, right. then you're going to, we call it porpoising. Like, you know, you're, they're going to come to the surface. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to make some deals happen, but then they're going to go down. They're going to be gone for two months. For sure. and we have people that do that all the time. Like they'll go throw up a couple hundred policies. And then two months will go by. We're like, where are they? It's like, oh, they weren't doing the other work while they were closing those deals. Yeah. <laughs> and so for us, it's just having that that discipline of saying, like, today I'm going to do this many activities and I'm going to close this many sales. And the activities are just as important as the sales. We call it now and later money. Yeah. So it's like you're working on your now money. That's the deals you're closing right now. But you got to work on the later money. That's it. 